A couple of things that I wanted to ask you. Uh, one, about the weight loss. You've, you've played so much more at the four the last couple of seasons, whether it was because of uh, scheme and the fact that it seemed to work pretty well or uh, just because of the injuries and stuff like that. Do you feel like the weight loss um, will be conducive to, to that or maybe to, to play more small forward to be quicker on your feet? I don't, I mean, as far as the weight loss goes and, and playing the four, the three, I mean, my, like, my mentality and my physical makeup is there. That, none of that has changed. The only thing I've changed is, you know, maybe stripping some body fat. Um, but as far as the way I play, I don't think, you know, my weight and, you know, my, my makeup is going to, that's going to change. And um, with regards to the triangle, you were saying you, you see it as fun. Um, Phil has said that he, he wants to get you better shots, but also for you to be able to create better shots for teammates and for you to, to move the ball better. Yeah. Do you see that as, as something that's, that's going to change the difference between you and Michael and Kobe is that Phil worked with them way earlier in their career before they developed certain habits. How, how do you see your game changing, if at all, within a triangle this late in your career? I think, I think this new situation, the new system, um, well, I think it, it's going to enhance my game, it's going to enhance my teammates' game. And, and as a whole, we, we're going to be successful. Uh, my big thing is I just I, wanted, I want to embrace what Phil and what Derek is doing. Uh, I, I want them to know that I'm in. Uh, I'm embracing this challenge. Uh, I know from, from being a student of the game and watching uh, and knowing the history that it will work. It takes time. There's nothing happens overnight, but it will work. And as long as I'm patient with that, then everything else is, is, is irrelevant. Carmelo, John Schumann, NBA.com. Uh, Defensively last year, you guys weren't very cohesive, so there's obviously room to improve in, in that regard, but you lost Tyson, who was sort of the anchor defensive player of the year a couple years ago. How good can you be defensively with this team and, and, and the personnel that it has? Well, we want to we want to be good, man. I mean, it's I mean, we, we Derek Fish is, is preaching that we all preaching that. I mean, that's the that's the first thing that you know, he's preaching. I know everybody is talking about, you know, the, the new system and, and, and the triangle and, and Phil Jackson, but, you know, the challenge for us is how good we want to be on a, on a defensive end. You know, last season being, you know, you know, 24 out of 30, of, you know, from a defensive standpoint, a defensive ranking, I mean, that's, that's just not acceptable. It's not acceptable, and I, we, we will improve on that. Uh, because we will focus on that and we would, you know, we would challenge ourselves to be better. And the coaching staff would challenge ourselves to be better. So it's, it's going to take a collective effort. Although we lost Tyson, um, you know, we all know he was a great defensive player, great defensive shot blocker, um, defensive player of the year. But we, we, we got to do it as a collective now. We got to do it as a group and we got to trust and we got to believe in one another. And that's something that we got to, you know, distill today when we get out there to West Point. Hey, Carmelo, Jared Zwirling, Bleacher Report. How are you? Good to see you back. Uh, I know you're very close with Kobe and MJ. They ran the triangle in L.A. and Chicago. Have you had a chance to talk to them at all about the triangle and maybe any observations or takeaways from watching film of those two guys through their, through their days running the triangle? I've, I've talked to MJ. I've, I've talked to Kobe. Uh, and I've also talked to guys like Scotty. I mean, you know, other guys who was in the triangle. Um, and the, the, the information that I've got back from them guys, like I'm, I'm just taking that and you know distilling that into a bottle and applying that to my everyday life, my everyday game. Um, and I, that's why I, I saw some of you guys this offseason and told you that I'm, I'm excited about being in the triangle. I'm excited about coming back to the Knicks. I'm excited about the opportunity that we have as a team, you know, being with this new system, being with this new culture. Uh, so, I mean, overall, I'm just, I'm excited, man. I, I, I feel happy again. I feel at ease. I feel, you know, like I said, I have a lot of clarity, and I'm, I'm in a good place, and I, I can't wait to get it going. Justin Rodriguez, Times Herald Record, back here. I just uh, wanted to get your impressions about the team's first pick this year. Clay Anthony Early, just uh, what type of impact he might have, and if uh, you'll mentor him in any way. I've... I mean, I'm, I'm very excited to see Clee Anthony on the court. Um, you know, he was one of the, he, in my eyes, he was a steal 
in this year's draft. A lot of teams passed up on him for whatever reason, and we was able to we was able to you know draft him. So I, I look at him as a steal. Um, as far as what he's he's capable of doing and how he's going to help this team, um, we we don't know right now. I mean, we we haven't even stepped foot on the court. All, all of this is just observations and opinions and things like that. So. I will. I'm going to work with him. I've been working with him this off season. I've been with all the, you know, all the young guys this off season, up here playing, up here competing with them, up here working. Whether it's in the triangle, um, whether it's in the weight room, whether it's just, you know, just us hanging out, getting a chance to know each other. So, I'm looking forward to to seeing what 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 everybody is going to bring to this. Fisher and Steve and Bill on Friday, and they all seem pretty confident that this team could make the playoffs this year, you know, coming off a 37-win season. Do you feel the same way? And if so, what gives you that confidence? I, I agree with them. I agree with uh, with Phil and, and, and Fish. Uh, I think for me, it's, it's more I'm coming from a more of a confidence standpoint and knowing that what the, the pain and what I, of what I endured last year and what we felt as a team, we don't want to go back down that down that lane no more. We don't want to feel that pain again. Uh, I see it, and I saw this offseason the amount of time that my teammates put in, in the gym to work on what they need to work on. Uh, they got with the coaches. Uh, they was all together. And I, I think everybody's just ready to just take that next step and, you know, make that change. And, you know, it's a new level of focus now. You, and I saw that this offseason. I saw that in the past couple of weeks coming here working with the guys and, and training out here with the guys. You can just see the mindset is a lot different than everything else. Now, we still have to put that onto the basketball court. We still have to go have a great training camp. We still have to get better. Uh, but at the end of the day, if we, do, if we do all the right things, I believe that we would be there at the end. Alan Ayanna's on Newsday. Carmelo, why do you believe things are going to be different? Is it just a different culture, new regime, different players, what makes you think that? Well, I think anytime you can, you have, you have a new culture, uh, a, a new energy comes along with that. And you could just walk around the building uh, and feel that energy. Um, in, in the off season, I, I felt that energy, I, you know, with myself, with my teammates. You could just see everybody is, you know, rejuvenated again. Everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to do what's right uh, to, to make this team and help this team be successful. So. At the end of the day, I believe that we would be there at the end. We got a long way to go. We got a lot of work to do. But if we all in this together, I believe we would, we would be there. Steve Popper, Bergen Record. Mel, I know you guys have been working out as a group, but have you had much interaction with Derek and Phil and uh, kind of learning what the role will be in this triangle? And uh, what, what, you know, have you kind of gotten like a glimpse of what, what the system will be? I got a, I got a good glimpse of what, what the system will be. Um, and it, it, it's fun. I mean, I, from, from what I've been able to, you know, see and sit back and learn and watch, you know, from Coach Fish and the other guys on the coaching staff, uh, I, I, I've been here three weeks early in the gym working with the guys and talking to the guys, um, asking questions and not just going out there thinking that I, you know, that I know it all and being receptive to, you know, the information that I wanted to receive and the questions, you know, the, the answers that I was looking for. And it's, it's been great for me. Uh, I know it's not going to happen overnight, but for me, my main thing is just to embrace it, just to embrace the situation, just to embrace the new situation, the regime, the new regime, the new system. Uh, and then along the way, we're going to have some fun. It's going to be some bumps and bruises, but at the end of the day, we're we going to have some fun with doing it. Hey, Carmelo, Brian Mahoney, Associated Press. Uh, beyond the mentality of the team now, looking at the personnel, you made it, you know, you traded two starters with, uh, Tyson and Raymond, how do you look at this team, the players that are here, uh, versus last year? Well, it's a different, it's a different makeup of the team. Uh, you know, although we did, you know, you know, get rid of uh, Tyson and and Raymond, we did bring back, you know, some guys that I I think would fit in, you know, extremely well with what we're trying to do and what, you know, Phil and what D Fish is trying to do. Uh, you know, Calderon, his his numbers speak for himself. I mean, the way he's able to run the team, the way he's able to you know, shoot the basketball lights out. His his assisted turnover ratio is like no other. Um, and then Samuel Dallinger. I mean, from, from what he's able to do um, as a big man, rebound, block shots, you know, kind of control the paint. Uh, we just got to bring all of that together. 
into, into one. If, if we all on the same page and we have the same mindset and we have the same goals, then I, I think this, this journey starting today would, would be fun.